Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix this little pop-up if you're getting this in Cricut Design Space. So this happens when you upload um, an SVG that has text elements in it. It's gonna tell you that it, it's not supported. And previously, you know, it says import anyway, you click continue and lo and behold, your SVG would show up. Well, since the most recent Cricut update, that's not happening anymore. These files are no longer showing up. This has caused um, a lot of issues for me with my Etsy shop because I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, why is Cricut not letting these upload? I had to go figure out what was happening and how to fix it. And so since I have had to deal with that huge mess, I'm going to share the answers with you so you don't have to deal with it. Okay, so what you need to do is fix the file in Inkscape. Now, um, I talk about Inkscape a lot, and a lot of you haven't downloaded it. I mean, it seems a bit overwhelming, and there's just a lot going on with it. But right now, this is the only free version to fix these files, if this is happening for you. If you have one of my files, and this is happening, I have fixed most of them. Uh, let me know what you have, and I will send you the correct one the fixed one, um, but you know, if you've purchased them from somewhere else and they're not fixed, this is the only free way to fix it. So you'll have to download Inkscape. It's free. Just go to the website. I'll link it in the description. Download it on your computer. Okay, so I've got Inkscape opened. What you need to do is import the file that's throwing you the errors. So you come to File, Import, and there's two I'm going to show you today, but the first one is this. Okay, so these were some farmhouse ornaments that I had been selling in my Etsy shop. And I have revised them, but let me show you what's going on. So a few things you need to do to begin with. First of all, lock your screen. That way, when you're dragging this to make it bigger or smaller, all of the dimensions and proportions say this stay the same. It doesn't get like longer or wider, it just gets bigger and smaller. Okay, it's very important to first open Inkscape and then import your design. That way you still have the original. If anything goes wrong, you haven't messed with your original copy. You're making a copy to edit. Okay, for this particular one, um, I'm going to delete a lot of this so you can just see me work on one file. So let's see. I'm going to delete that and that and that and that and that. And we're just going to work on this piece on earth file. So let me make it bigger so we can all see it. Okay, it's real simple what you're going to do. It's just a process that you have to go through. So I want you to come over here on objects and click object and then the first one objects and you're going to get this huge crazy looking thing over here if you drag this bar you can make it bigger so that you can really see what you're doing okay you'll notice yours will probably look like this to begin with i've already been in this file messing with it okay so layer layer one nothing really looks suspicious click your little um diamond or your arrow here to open up all of the elements, and you're going to see text, 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 text. Those don't need to be there. So if you click on this and you don't see anything highlight over here, you're probably good. Click this eye, shut it down. You don't see anything over there change. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see. Do we see anything change here? Click the eye. Nope. Anything here, click the eye. Nope, there's nothing changing on my design here as I'm clicking all of these ones that say text. You need to go through each one and make sure that nothing changes on your design. If you see any bit of text or any bit of your design disappear when you shut this eye, then open the eye back up and don't mess with it. If nothing disappears, when you shut these eyes, and honestly, this is what you're going to run across more often than not. They're hidden things in, in the code that you're not going to see. 
So most often you're going to hit this text, you're going to shut the eye and nothing's going to disappear. All right, we need to delete all of that now. So we've got all of those shut. Let's just open up each arrow here and make sure that we don't have any additional text. We did, there was some additional text in here, so let me shut that. Open this guy up, any additional text? No, let me open this guy, no additional text. Open this guy, no additional text. Okay, we can now see every text element in this file and we need to delete it. So, I've got my first one selected. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and just select everything else that says text. Make sure we have it all. You can do these one at a time as well, but I like to do them all at once by just selecting all of them by holding the um, control key on my keyboard. Every text is selected. I'm just making sure. Yes. Right click your mouse, delete. All that text is gone. So file, we're gonna name this something different because we didn't wanna alter the original file. We're making a copy with the revisions in it. So come to file, save as, I'm gonna name it Peace on Earth. It's gonna to save to my desktop and it's gonna save as an Inkscape SVG. That's perfect, that's what we want. Hit save. Okay, let's hop over to Cricut. Upload, upload, browse. Let's go find our Peace on Earth file. There it is. Open, voila. You can now open this in Cricut Design Space because you have deleted all of that hidden text. All right, let me show you another file. So, Okay, I'm gonna upload, you can see from the beginning. Upload, browse. This one is, where did it go? Cupcake pop it, watch this. All right, I've got text elements, I gotta go fix them. So, I am going to close that out, open up a brand new Inkscape window. I'm going to import the SVG that I'm having the issues with, Cupcake Puppet. Where are you, Cupcake Puppet? There you are. Okay, I'm gonna lock my screen. Now there's a lot going on in this file. I'm gonna make this bigger over here. Okay, layer one. Let's open it up. Okay, I can already see text. Let me see, if I click text, does anything highlight? No. If I close its eye, I don't think anything happened. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we now need to open up each one of these. Text. Click it, oh, something highlighted. And watch, if I close my eye, that zero goes away. Okay, let's open the eye back up. And keep looking for more text the nine highlighted. The eight highlighted. So I can tell in this file every single pink number is going to be text. I could go through here and double check and I encourage you to do that but that's a lot that I already know all these numbers are text. So I'm going to delete everything I don't need. Ungroup this file and I'm just going to pull off the pink numbers. I'm just ungrouping everything and getting rid of the pink or pulling out the pink numbers because I know those are the ones that are text. I'm going to speed this up while I get the rest of these pulled out. Okay, so I have all the pink numbers pulled out and I had started deleting um, the rest of my numbers that were not text elements. So if you look over here now, Almost everything you see is text. Now, I did convert these to a path. You can see that when I created this file, but I didn't delete the original text, which is why Design Space is throwing that error. Okay, 
So here's how you delete the original text if this is the issue that's happening. If you've opened up your SVG file and you are clicking text and you're noticing, oh my gosh, if I close this eye, I get rid of whatever that text is and I need to keep that. What you want to do, let me close all these back up because it's really confusing to have all these windows open. Okay. So. Let's start with this five. Here it is, it's text. I can open it up and I can see the path behind the text. But if I simply delete the one that says text, if I right click it and delete it, it goes away. So we don't want to do that. I'm gonna undo that delete. What you wanna do is click the object that says text, come to path, object to path, before you do anything else, just leave it highlighted, duplicate it, so hit Control D, move off your duplicated one, delete the text. And now, if I click this five, it is not text anymore, it is a path. We're gonna do this over and over again. Here's four, it's text. So, path, object to path, you have to do that, that's what turns your text into a path for Cricut. Duplicate, pull off the duplicate, delete the original. Okay, let's keep going. Path, object to path, duplicate by hitting Control D, or you could come to edit and duplicate if you want to do it that way, but Control D does the same thing. Move off the duplicated one, delete the text. Path, object to path, duplicate, move off the duplicated one, delete the text. I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so now every single one of these, if I click them, there's nothing else that says text. Everything here says path. Let's run through the whole thing. Path, 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 path. I already got that one opened. So they're all paths now. There is no more text left in this design except for the very first one we found that had the eye closed, that we closed the eye on it, and we can actually go ahead and delete that now. Okay, so no more text. Awesome. So let's name this something new, file, save as, new, pop it, cupcake. Okay, and is an Inkscape SVG. Okay, so what we did was change all of these text elements into a path, but we deleted everything that was good about the file so that we didn't have so much jumble going on here. We've gotta get it back in now. If you didn't delete it, you're good to go. Just you know, save your file and you're good to go. If you did delete it, you're gonna have to put it back in. So just import it back in, file import. Cupcake pop it, open, okay. I'm gonna ungroup this whole file. So we need that, we need that. Let's ungroup this and delete all of the numbers that we just duplicated. When you purchase my files, I group everything together so that it just shows up nice for you when you put it into design space. But right now it's a bit of a hassle because I'm having to ungroup everything. I'm using the quick commands, Control Shift G to ungroup, but you can also just come up here to um, object and ungroup. Okay, so. I don't need that, or 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 that. Awesome. Okay. File, save. Okay. There is no more text in here. We have deleted all of it. So let's upload this whole file to Cricut Design Space now. And it's the new one that we saved. So I think we saved it as new. Let's see, new cupcake pop it, or new pop it cupcake. Open, 
And there it all is. It lets us put it into Design Space now because we've deleted all the text elements. So let me actually upload this. Um, hopefully, you don't have to do that second method. If your file is that bad, I would take it back to the person who designed it and be like, you need to fix this. But if it's just a matter of deleting the hidden text files, you know, this is a really simple, free way to do it. Or if you really want to just get in there and take care of it yourself, if you don't want to try to go back to the designer of the file and have them fix it for you, you can delete all of that text yourself as long as you are converting the text to path and then deleting the original text. All right, guys, that's all I've got. We'll see you next time.